Hey YouTube, what's up? It's Gucci DM. Welcome back to more Final Fantasy Blind. Seven Blind. We're in part 60. <laughs> I just noticed Cloud still has his limit ready to go. <laughs> so that's kind of funny. So we left off. We went back to check on Cloud. We did some tower defense thing. Ended up in Cloud's consciousness or something. So let's find out how crazy Inception this goes. Five years ago, two men from Soldier came. Sephiroth and a young vibrant soldier. Can you tell me again what happened? So Cloud's just gonna be like a figment of imagination jumping around, retelling a story. How does it feel? Five years ago, I saw the real Sephiroth for the very first time. It's your first time back to your hometown in a long time, right? So how does it feel? I wouldn't know because I don't have a hometown. Yes, I remember all this. How about your parents? So this is the great Sephiroth. My mother is Genova. She died right after I was. she gave birth to me and my father. But to tell you the truth, I thought he was a very cold. What does it matter? Dun, 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 dun. All right, let's go. I remember I felt a foreboding about him. So this is what Cloud remembers. Obviously, this is what we played in the game. Like, I, like, walks into him. She's like, no, that's not what happened. No, Cloud. I've been hiding it from for some time, afraid that I told you. God, I can't read today. If I told you, what do you mean today? I can't read at all. <laughs> if I told you, something terrible might happen. But I'm not going to hide anything anymore. So is this the really, the real, real truth reveal? You weren't here, Cloud. Ah, God, that was a comma. Cloud did not come to Nibelheim five years ago. I waited, but Cloud never came. Her with her cowboy hat. <laughs> cowboy Tifa. I hope in the new game, oh my God. I hope since they're remaking the new game, and one of the things I love about Japanese game is costumes and different outfits for the game, because I feel like no matter how serious the game is, Unless it's per, per personally like meant to be like just you have to feel for the characters. Like after you beat the game the first time, you should, wacky costumes make the game fun, and that has to be an alternate outfit for Tifa, right? I will pay that five dollar outfit DLC for that outfit if I could have Tifa wear it. The two that were ordered here were Sephiroth and another person. So Tifa's even looking at herself. So Tifa can implant her own memories in our consciousness right now. Let's go. So this is who really showed up, which was Zack. So hopefully they do reveal like exact actually what happened, because I'm still confused on it. That member of Soldier who came with Sephiroth wasn't Cloud? There's nothing I can say. You must find the answer yourself. If you can't, then you. Take your time, Cloud, slowly, little by little. It's just like learning to walk again. Okay, so then now I need to go on to the next Cloud. Okay, yeah, so we need to go to all. We're gonna end up going to all the memories. I should have saved this one for last, dang it. That starry night on the well and our promise that night. What if the memory was just a lie? So are these the three big things that Cloud's worried about? Don't hurry, Cloud. Don't answer too quickly. Just keep checking all those small memories and it'll come back slowly, little by little. Right, like the sky that night, the heavens were filled with stars. Dun, 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 so I remember this cutscene. I should say scene. I don't think it was a cutscene. <laughs> From the beginning, okay. It's like a hardcore instructor. Tap, tap, tap. Start from the beginning. Try and remember, Cloud. There's little Cloud. Little Tifa. I was wearing these clothes. That's you too. You were so small then. 
Oh my god, now I want the ability to play as Baby Cloud and Baby Tifa. And cute. Oh, hee hee hee. Sephiroth once said, Cloud made up his memories by listening to my stories. Did you imagine the sky? No, you remembered it. That night, the stars were gorgeous. It was just Cloud and I. We talked at the well. That's why I continued to believe that you were the real Cloud. That's what my thing, my thought was, was that he's like, he was actually this Cloud who got injected with like Zack and Genova, Zack memories and Genova cells or something. That's what I think. Like he went to Soldier and they put him in through a freaking experiment thing. I still believe you're a Cloud from Nibelheim. But you don't believe in yourself. I like how she's doing the same thing her younger self was. These memories aren't enough. Dun, 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 dun. That's two down, I guess. What about your other memories? No, not memories. A memory is something that has to be consciously recalled, right? That's why sometimes it can be mistaken and a different thing. But it's different from a memory locked deep within your heart. That's why it must be fake. If he could recall up that memory. That's it! What about some memory that has to do with me? I say something and you don't remember it. But you say something and I remember it, too. Then we'll know that's our memory. Talk to me about anything. Something important memory to you. Some important memory to you. Bum, 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 bum. Now that you mention it, why did you want to join Soldier in the first place? I always thought it was a sudden decision you made. I was devastated. I wanted to be noticed. Wait, why is it double texting me here? I thought if I got stronger, I could get someone to notice. Someone to notice you? Who? You know who. You, that's who. Me? Why? Have you seen yourself? You're like the strongest, hottest babe in the freaking world. You're a 10. You're a 20. Who wouldn't want you to notice them? Notice me, Tifa Senpai. Did you forget about those days? It's like, is this... What Cloud's talking... Look, I... I'm sorry, but what are you talking about? Now here comes this Cloud coming in. Is this the kid one? No, it's alright. You were having a hard time back then. You were so busy with your own things, it's only natural you don't remember me back then. What is this about? Back then? It's important to me, I hate to say it, but it's a very important memory. Do you want to see? So now we have to go to this one. Come on, hurry. Hurry now. Chip chop. Okay, so now we have to talk to this guy. A sealed up secret wish. Tender memories no one can ever know. It looks like a... Did he like boombox it outside her window, you know? This is going to be interesting. It's a very weird scene. <laughs> Do you know where this window goes to, Tifa? Fine, I'll go. Like, this is your bedroom window. I used to look through it every night. <laughs> I wanted you to notice me, damn it. Because it gets, like, super creepy. Dun, 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 dun. Uh. I think I nailed the... Head on the coffin there. My room? It was my first time there. Was it? I only used to look up at it from the outside. Hey, look! Well, there's a bunch of other kids. Cloud's coming. Little Cloud running up to play. You think he wants to come in? Dun, 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 dun. Was that the first day you came into my room? 
That's right. We live next to each other. But I really didn't know you that well. I've known you since you were children, and I always thought we were close. But actually, they weren't that close. Now that you mention it, I don't recall you ever being in my room. Tifa always used to be with this threesome. Could have worded that better. That's right. I used to think they were all stupid. Yeah, stupid guys don't want to play with me. I know that feeling. <laughs> what? You were all childish, laughing at every little stupid thing. <laughs> but we were children back then. I know, I'm the one that was stupid. I really wanted to play with everyone, but I was never allowed into the group. Then later, I began to think I was different. That I was different from those immature kids. That's how you make yourself feel better, man. That then, maybe... <gasps> He's splitting! Shadow Cloud. Just maybe, they would invite me in. I thought that might happen, so I hung around. I was so prejudiced and weak. That night, I called Tifa out to that well. I thought to myself, Tifa would never come. That she hated me. Yeah, it was so sudden, I was a bit surprised. So she never actually, they weren't friends, like they lived next to each other, but he was that kid that wasn't with the group. Huh, but it's true that we weren't that close, but after you left town, I really thought about you a lot. I used to wonder how Cloud was doing. I wondered if Cloud was able to get into Soja. Soja. I started reading the newspapers, thinking that there might be an article about you. Thanks, Tifa. Tell him what you told me later. He'll probably be so happy. Okay. Huh? What happened on this day? Was it special day? This was the day that you showed me your super secret. Tifa's mother. Oh, here comes the guitar. The day mom died. Yeah, so that's what I thought I was gonna say. Was this about her mother dying? I wanna see mom. Wow, the timing of this is kinda effed up for me. I wonder if there's anything beyond that mountain. I remember that mountain. So all these kids went out to the mountain? Mount Nibble is scary. Many people have died. No one crosses that mountain alive. How about those that died? Did Mama pass through the mountains? Oh, childlike thinking. So mysterious. I'm going. Mama's on the other side. Damn. It's like, one kid's going, two of them are thinking about, like, yeah, it's kind of a bad idea, but, heh. That one guy backs out. This is usually how it goes. Quick, help, help, they went to the mountain. And then the storm comes in. You need the rooster to call the morning in, otherwise the morning will never come. <laughs> that movie, why is that movie so stuck in my freaking brain, man? Elvis Rooster. There's the bridge. Dun, dun, dun. Now they like they followed her a little bit, but then they couldn't they couldn't handle it going across the bridge. I mean, if I was a little kid, I would be pretty freaked out. I don't know. As a kid, I was actually pretty fearless. I don't remember the patch I walked. Path. Why say patch? What the hell's wrong with me? Tifa missed her step. I ran to her, but didn't make it in time. Both of us fell off the cliff. Holy crap. Back then, I only scarred my knees, but...
Why'd you bring Tifa to a place like this? What the hell's the matter with you? What if she dies? Ding, ding. Who were those people? Tifa was in a coma for seven days. She must have watched the video. We all thought she wouldn't make it. If only I could have saved her. I was so angry, angry at myself for my weakness. Ever since then, I felt Tifa blame me. I got out of control. I'd get into fights, not even caring who it was. So this, like, snapped his brain about being weak. That was the first time I heard about Sephiroth. If I got strong like Sephiroth, then everyone might... Notice me, senpai? That goes back to the mystery music. If I could just get stronger, then even Tifa would have noticed me. So that's what it was. Sorry, Cloud. If I had only remembered more clearly what happened, I could have done something sooner. It's not your fault, Tifa. But I remember back when we were eight. That's it. Now I know. You weren't created five years ago. My childhood memories weren't all made up. Hang in there, Cloud, just a little longer. You've almost found the real you. Yeah, this doesn't, this, like, this whole thing prove that there really was a Cloud, and... Uh, that's what I thought this whole time. Let's go back to Nibbutheim again. Wait, was that, like, a frog noise right there? What the hell was that? Alright, okay, so now we're going back to Nibbutheim. Memory Nibbutheim, I guess. The truth is right here. We almost have the answer right in the palm of our hands. So let's go forward. Dun, dun, bum, bum, dun, bum. Hurry, hurry! Okay, okay. <laughs> Could have kind of skipped that and just went straight into this scene, couldn't we have? Bum, 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 bum. Wait. Where are you going? The reactor? To the reactor, the Mako reactor for uh, uh, five years ago. Very, very interested what's going to happen here. So, oh, they fought. Oh, yeah, and then she got slashed. No! She bounced down the stairs. And this is what we thought was us. Hey, it's Cloud. Wait, what? Cloud? Z Z Z Zach, you remembered. What? Did is it like he remembered that it wasn't him and that this was actually Zach? That's right. It was Zack who came to nibble him with Sephiroth. Okay, so that's what she talked about that he remembering. I was like, what? What are you talking about? Then, where were you, Cloud? Oh my god, you got launched out. Cloud, did you see it all? Dun, boom. Boom, boom. I saw everything. Is that me? The soldier running in? Was I just one of those two basic soldiers the whole time? So I r ran up, took his sword. Holy crap! Stabbed him. Urgh, who are you? Mom, Tifa, my town, give it back! Holy shit, he really was one of the side soldiers! I had so much respect for you. I admired you. So Zack died that day? Well, I mean, how'd Tifa survive? So we killed Sephiroth. Cloud. <laughs> That's what happened. Oh my god, so we were there the whole time. 
That's nuts. I was not expecting us to be one of the pawns. That's good. You were there. You were watching me. Yeah, I remember. Hmm, so it was you. <laughs> hey, Cloud, if you're feeling sick, why don't you... What? Dang it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is me. Oh my god, so that the soldier we're talking to, I never made it is a member of soldier. I never left my hometown telling everyone I was going to join, but I was so embarrassed I didn't want to see anybody. I think I read that wrong. I think he said I made it. There's Tifa, so he runs away to get his helmet. And Zack's like, what what? What are you worried about? How does it feel? It's your first time back. So he really was talking to so he was talking to me the whole time. That's pretty funny. Nice little plot twist there. I'm Ugh. So I can't believe he actually killed Sephiroth. That's kinda of funny. How many times am I gonna say kinda of funny? About ten more times, guys, let's let's ding it on the clock. You came, you kept your promise. So he's the one who rescued. So you really did come when I was in trouble. And he's like, Zach, sorry, buddy. Sorry, I didn't get there f fast enough. <laughs> it's all right, Cloud. Oh, nope, Sephiroth is still alive. Ugh. What does he have in his hand? Just like you. What? What is in his hand? I can't tell, like the head of something? Maybe it's his helmet? What is that? Is it supposed to be a hole in his chest now? Or maybe a necklace or something? He just goes walking out. Cloud, kill Sephiroth! Zack's giving me an order. <laughs> so what happened to Zack? That's interesting. Oh, I remember this whole scene very well. Sephiroth! Is that Genova's head? Oh, and he just pierces us. Don't push your luck. Lifts us up. And we grab the blade. He can't get it free. It, it can't be. Oh my god, we lift it up with the blade in us. And chuck him off. Holy shit, Cloud's a badass. <laughs> I can't, <laughs> I can't wait to see this scene in the remake. Oh my god, it better be in here too. You get stabbed through the freaking like, stomach, abdomen, gets lifted up in the air, fights back, grabs the sword while it's inside his body, and throws him out. <laughs> That's incredible. Cloud. Then, this is goodbye, Tifa, until we meet again. So, that still doesn't solve, answer the question of what happened from then till he came back or he was found by Tifa at the train station. Maybe hmm, something had to happen with him getting stabbed. Maybe he died and fell or something. So all the memories are going to coalesce. What about the big one up top there, freaking out? Brr. Sounds like a sonic sound effect. There we go. There's the big guy. I don't like the high pitch. Dun, 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 dun. Come on, hurry up and get this over with. I don't want to hear that anymore. This one's not sinking. Ugh, it's having a hard time. Huh? Huh? What is on the floor here? Cloud! Ugh. What? And he just went back to... He went back to normal Cloud. 
Uh, Tifa. Oh, Cloud, it's really you, isn't it? We finally meet again. Feel like it's been ten seconds. Stupid jerk. You got us all worried. Ugh. Are you alright? Vo voice there. We're in the live stream, aren't we? Everyone's waiting. Let's go back, Cloud. Back to everyone. How are you supposed to escape from this? Come on, Tifa. Let's go home. He says it like he... Please tell me he can fly or use superpowers now. I mean, absorb, he absorbed all this live stream energy, right? They just go, wee up through the live stream. So, Cloud was there the whole time. He's the one who killed Sephiroth. Zack, I guess, maybe have died there? That's still not completely explained. Well, we washed the shore. Everyone's looking at it. God damn you, Kate Sith, I hate you. Yo, you all right, Tifa? Un. I literally just said like, uh, un. You came back. Where is he? I don't worry about him. He's a tough one. He's one tough son of a bitch. When I was in the live stream, I saw the real Cloud. I mean, I didn't really find him. Cloud found himself on his own. He learned to walk again. I know. I shouldn't have doubted him. But I can't win against you. You're some kind of lady. <laughs> Dude looks like a lady. <laughs> People have so many things pent up inside of themselves. <laughs> and they can forget so many things. Strange, isn't it? Snap out of it, Tiva! Tiva! She's tired, dude. I mean, she should be dead. Going by what that doctor said. But these are Final Fantasy heroes. Holy crap, T Cloud is just... It's not even gonna be like a... Him awakening and everyone like being like, Oh my god, Cloud's back! He's not a loony anymore. I'm sorry, or potato. Like I said earlier. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Don't say anything, Cloud. All you've been doing is apologizing. I never was in Soldier. Wait, if you weren't in Soldier, then how were you a member of, like, the fighting force? I made up the stories about what happened to me five years ago about being in Soldier. I left my village looking for glory but never made it into Soldier. I was so ashamed of being so weak that I heard this story from my friend Zack. So they were friends. And I created an illusion of myself made up of what I had seen in my life. And I continued to play the character as if it were true. So he created a persona for himself, which was Zack, who was a cool guy, to make himself feel better. That kind of doesn't... Illusion, huh? Pretty damn strong for an illusion, I'd say. Yeah. Is that... Did that, did that not say illusion, say illusion? I'm physically built like someone in Soldier. Hojo's plan to clone Sephiroth wasn't that difficult. It was just the same procedure they used when creating members of Soldier. You see, someone in Soldier isn't simply exposed to Mako energy. Okay, so, like, I guess Soldier... I must have forgotten, but I guess Soldier is just, like, a... A super-powered program, and he was just a regular Soldier, so he never made it into that. Their bodies are actually injected with Genova cells. Okay, so then I was... This is obvious. For better or worse, only the strong can enter Soldier. It has nothing to do with the Genova reunion. But weak people like me get lost in the whole thing. The combination of Genova cells, Sephiroth's strong will, and my own weakness are what created me. Everyone knew that. I'm Cloud. The master of my own illusionary world. But I can't remain trapped in an illusion anymore. So this this is kind of getting a little... I like the whole plot twist of him being there as an actual soldier. But this is getting a little funky. Like, trying to explain it. I'm going to live my life without pretending. You're sure messed up, Cloud. That means there ain't no difference from before? By the way, Cloud, what are you going to do now? Don't tell me you're going to leave the ship. I'm the reason why Meteor is falling towards us. 
That's why I have to do everything in my power to fight this thing. I was sure I was going to say fight against it, but whatever. Then you're going to keep fighting to save the planet. It's like you always told me, Barrett. Oh, uh, you mean that? What? I don't understand. There ain't no getting off this train we own. <laughs> hey, yeah, hip -ah, hip hip hooray! Everyone to the battle stations! K -k 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 -ah. I kind of want there to be a scene in the remake of us on this ship where we get attracted by the dragons and everyone has to get to battle stations and you have to gun them all down. <laughs> Most people don't like that kind of stuff. I love a little turret section in a video game. As long as it makes sense. Uh-oh, Cloud. Wait, what? I wonder if this guy's worried about me. So we're back as Cloud. We got the team together. I'm level 52. Everything's good to go. <laughs> so someone told me I should go check out... Oh, he's kind of report to me. I was deeply moved by your story. I'm really a weak person, and so I could really understand how you feel, Cloud. No one knows when fighting will begin, but let's get ready. What? Uh, okay, I'm picking my team. I mean, I gotta go Tifa. Like, I can't not have Tifa. And... Who should I pick as my third? For, like, I'm starting to level up Yuffie. I like Yuffie a lot. I just think her character is pretty funny, too. Oh, some people are going to be bummed that I'm back to the old team, but I mean, come on! It's time to get back to it. Okay, so listen, Cloud. We're right in the middle of the mission for the huge materia, right? I know this kind of out of the blue, but there's an underwater reactor at Junon. As far as I can see, that's the only one left. That's that. Let's go. Is everyone going to be, like, reporting in, I guess? So we can talk to everybody. I'll probably do that next time. Doesn't it look like Mufasa has, like, a, a hat on? Oh, well. <laughs> Let's see Yuffie out here still puking her guts out. Let's see what she has to say now. Huh? How would you even know? You don't know how tough it is getting sick on boats and rides. Just leave me alone. I really do understand, Yuffie, when I get sick on a fight, flight, it's a real killer. When I was in Soldier, I completely forgot about my motion sickness. Oh. Isn't there any way to prevent this? Well, according to my research, wow, well, he actually did research on this. First off, if you're nervous a lot, you won't get sick. But you can't always be nervous. With this much space, your best bet is to move around while you're re riding. It also might be a good idea to stretch sometimes, too. But in Soldier, we spent a lot of time in trucks. That sucked. <laughs> oh god, him thinking about it. And there's one more thing you mustn't do when riding. And that is... Read! Once you get sick, there's nothing anyone can do. I know it's tough. Yeah, I, mean, I get seasick, like, going out fishing, you get seasick, it's awful. So you're a little better off than me. But I don't feel... well. <laughs> I wonder if we're gonna help cure Yuffie's condition. But oh well, this has been Gives the End. Thanks for watching. Tune in next time, where we uh, maybe go to Yunnan. Someone told me I should go check back at Nibelheim. So I'll probably do that. I'll have to find it first, though. But thank you for a job well done. Peace. Mother loving out.